What's up guys? Welcome to a new series on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the beginner tips. And uh, something I did last year that I got away from was I did, basically I had a friend, his name was Preach Riley, and, and he was doing a beginner to contender series and talking about kind of the progression from being a beginner player to being someone that could that really could compete at a high level. And I want to get back to that because I think that it provides a lot of uh, usable and easy to learn things uh, for you guys. And, and so that's what we're going to be doing now on Mondays. One of our tips that we're going to be doing is, or a couple of our tips a week are going to be geared more towards beginners. And because we put out so many videos, it, it's easy to kind of share some, you know, I want to kind of disperse if you will, uh, I want to disperse the tips, and then we have a couple for beginners, a couple for average players, and a couple for really, really good players. And I want so that way we get more uh, in terms of actually helping you. So if you guys have suggestions for the beginner tips, thing that things that I may not think of that you that you're having a problem with, again, send that question to me on Twitter, send it to me on uh, on the comments, send it to me on uh, email. And if you guys have Pinterest, or if you guys have um, uh, Google Plus, or if you guys have any of that I'm on all of those platforms so be sure to follow me and engage me because I'm doing some interesting things uh, with these videos outside of just the video I'm writing out some posts uh, you know I'm, I'm putting these videos together I'm trying to provide more of an overall value uh, with my content so I hope that, that is helping you guys out but enough with that Today's beginner tip is talking all about offensive controls. The first things first that you need to know is we're going to be talking about pre-snap controls uh, today, and we're going to be talking about on, on offense. And then next week, we're going to, or excuse me, uh, later on this week, we're going to talk about defensive controls. So first things first on offense, one of the things that you can do is you can audible. And audibling is something that I really uh, literally do almost every play. And so how do you audible? Well, you audible by hitting the square button. And you see that it's going to give you this menu. Now, some people like to scroll with the left analog stick at the bottom of the controller here. Well, you can't do that to get to your new place. Some people are having trouble with that at the beginning of the year. So what we do is we use the left directional pad, the D-pad over here on the far left of the controller. And you see that this is going to go through and it's going to give you all of the audibles to get to all of your plays. And you can go right, left. Okay, so you see how I'm doing that. Okay, so that's how you audible. Say, for example, you want to run the ball. Okay, and say the defense is uh, wanting to shift everybody to the left side because they know that you're going to run out of the left on this formation. How can you flip this play? Because because what happens is one thing else you can do when you audible is you can hit square R2 and that's going to flip the play. Uh, so now you're running it to the other side. So you see what happened there. So now I'll have an advantage at running the ball off the right edge. But as you see right there, I got tackled because I didn't have enough blockers to support the run. So now let's show you something else that you can do uh, pre-snap. So say we audible to the same play by hitting square and using the D-pad to scroll over to the side that we want to run. And we select our run play, we go down, and now here we're facing a situation where we're going to have the numbers to the right side to run that run, but only if we don't flip the play because we don't want to, we don't have time to flip the play or we want to keep this look. Well, we can use the right analog stick and flip the run to the right side. As you see here, we're gonna play. It's called playmaking the run, and we're gonna playmaker the run to the right. And now you see that we're gonna have success getting off tackle, have a little bit more blockers, and uh, hope that they hold their blocks just a little bit better next time. So you see, we did that. But now, watch what happens. So, so, so then something that your opponent can maybe key on is they say, okay, well, every time he goes down to that trips formation, and I'm going to shift over because I don't want him to run that zone week off the left, but then when he playmakers like this, I'm going to shift them back over. So you see like that? See how they shift them back over, and now you're at a disadvantage number-wise? Well, you can flip it back to where you just flipped it. So you can hit right analog stick and to the left and run the play to the left side, and now you see you can get offside, or, or, or now you can see you can get some more room. So what I'm getting at here is is now you can start playing games with your opponent because you can audible to that play. And so say you're coming down to Bears on week and say you want to fake him out. So you want him to think that you're running to the right side. So you're going to fake playmaker. You fake playmaker by playmaking to the, the side you want to run. So say I want to run this off the left side, but it's already going to the left side. I'm going to fake playmaker by playmaking it to the left. See how it didn't change anything, but I my quarterback did the same animation. So now he shifts everybody over to the right side, and now I run off the left side and try to get upfield. So do you see? I hope you guys are seeing how that works because that's a big mind game in Madden. Okay? 
One other thing that you can do as well, say that you put um, Alshon Jeffrey on a streak here, but then you think about it for a minute and you're like, I want him on that post corner. But the post corner is not any of the hot routes. Well, you can reset the play and get all of the default routes back on the play. How do you do that? You want to hit square and you want to hit L2 or left trigger. You see that he's now going to be on that post corner route. So I hope that you're seeing that because that's a huge tip because sometimes people will hot route guys to like streak or out route or something. Then the defense maybe will shift to a press look and they think that that post corner will be effective. Well, now they can reset the play, stay in your, you don't have to call a timeout, and now you can beat the defense with that post corner. So that's the audibly mechanics of the game and, and things like that. Now I want to get into the hot route. Uh, of the game and how you can hot route guys and all the different things you can do with that. So uh, one thing, or actually before I do that, I want to talk about motioning first. So how do you motion a player? If I say motion, snap, uh, left of screen, slot receiver, three steps to the inside, how do you do that? Well, what we want to do is you want to hit the circle button on PS3 or PS4 and the B button on Xbox and you're going to get a menu. You see how it clicked me onto Marshall over here on the right? So say I said that the left of, left of slot... Um, or the left of screen slot receiver. So I would just hit circle until it got me to that left of screen slot receiver. And now you see that now his motion snap is going to be effective and I can beat the defense like that. So I hope that I hope that I'm not going too quick. And I hope that 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 you understand what I'm trying to say here with that is again, you, you if I say motion snap, you want to snap the ball while he's moving. And as you see he's moving and now he's going to be able to be unpressable. Okay? So that is our motioning uh, thing. You know, you just want to hit circle till you get over to your guy. Uh, you can actually use the D-pad and, and scroll through a little quicker. It's like if I'm on Jay Cutler and I want to get to Martell Spinnett quick, I can just go right there and voila, I got to him. And now I can deliver quick throws and things like that. Next thing, and the final thing we're going to talk about today is hot routes. So how do you access the hot route menu? Well, you're going to hit triangle. Then you're going to see that brings up a list of receivers. So say we want to hot route Mar Brandon Marshall. We're going to hit circle. Then this menu is going to come up of all the different hot routes that we can do for Brandon Marshall. We could put him on a zig by flicking the right analog stick to the right. We could put him on a fade by doing everything we just did and then hitting the right analog stick to the up position. We could put him on a slant by flicking the right analog stick to the left. We could put him on a drag by flicking the right analog stick down, we can hit him on a smoke screen by hitting the right trigger, we can put him on a comeback by hitting the left trigger, we can put him on an in route, we can put him on an out route, all these things that we can do. But it all starts with hitting the triangle button, brings up the hot route menus. And then the one closing thing I want to say today, because you can mess with all that, is different hot routes for different guys. So you have, like for example here, if I open up uh, Earl Bennett's menu, he's the slot receiver on the left side, his menu is different than Brandon Marshall. So you see, I'm going to hit the right trigger button, and he now go is going to go on a hitch route, and not. A, but if I put Marshall on the right trigger hot route, he's going to go on a smoke screen. Hopefully you see how that's a different route. Because they're in different positions on the field, EA decided to give us more hot routes based on the positioning of the receiver. This provides a lot of value and flexibility with our offense and that we can create almost any play from our hot routes. Um, and then also, you, like I said, you can show here the left trigger for Marshall is going to put him on a comeback. The left trigger hot route for Ben is going to put him on a flat route. Hopefully you see what I'm trying to get at here. And then the final thing here, like for example, Martel Spinnett, he's a tight end, so he's an inside receiver, but you see if I hit right trigger on him, he's going to pass block. So just be aware of that and check that out. You want to lap that up. You want to spend some time going through. Make sure you're learning the controls. And then um, the only other thing I want to cover here today is when I say something like this. So whenever you snap a receiver, so say I motion snap him and I bring him over here, you see that he's going to now block. Now that's important because of this right here, this this note. You used to be able to block receivers on the outside. So like you used to hit like triangle, triangle, R, R trigger, and you would block the receiver. Now you see he goes on the hitch route. If you want to get an extra blocker, so say you're going in a max protection, so you're going to block the running back, you're going to block the tight end, and then you want to have even another guy. Well, then you can uh, motion bend it to the tackle box, which is right here, snap it, 
then he's going to block, and now you have time in the pocket to deliver the pass. So just some little nuances and things you can do with your hot routes, with your adjustments, and that's how I most effectively use my controller on offense. How, uh, how Hopefully, guys, if I can get some feedback, did I say anything in this video that you didn't know? Uh, it, was it beneficial at all? Uh, do you like the idea of beginner tips? Obviously, we're not going to talk about how to use the controller every single week. We're going to have a progression, basically. But uh, just let me know what you think of the series. I hope that this video provided some kind of value to some guy out there who may have trouble, may just picked up the game from GameStop or whatever. But uh, anyways, guys, that's all we've got for you today. Be sure to check out uh, that tonight we have some Mutt gameplay coming. So be sure you're ready for the Mutt gameplay of the week. And uh, we'll, we'll get you guys some Madden Ultimate Team action. We'll talk to you guys later. Again, I hope this video is beneficial. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.